Today, I'll show you how you can upload a resume on Indeed. So in this video, I'll show you all the steps involved in uploading your resume to Indeed, as well as some tips for making sure your resume is formatted correctly and stands out to employers. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can upload your resume right now. So the first step is coming onto the Indeed website. Now you want to make sure you have actually got an account. And if you don't have an account, just go ahead and sign up. It doesn't take long at all. And if you do have an account, just go ahead and log into your account. So when you are logged in, you want to go up to the top right corner and look for this little icon here. And when we click on it, it will open up a drop down like this. Now we just want to look for the bit that says profile and we can find this at the top right here. And as you can see, now it says add a CV to Indeed. So if your CV is already created and on your computer already, you want to go ahead and select this upload CV button and then you can browse for the file and then upload it. Now, if you haven't yet got one, you can actually build one with Indeed. So, so if you wanted to go via that route, you can just choose build an Indeed CV. And then when you click on that, it will take you through all these questions and help you actually build your CV. So here are some tips to make sure your resume is formatted correctly and stands out to employers. My first tip is to make sure that your resume is up to date and tailored to the jobs you are applying for. If you're applying for some jobs and you've missed out some of your most recent work, it's going to be a negative because when that employer looks at your resume, they're going to see that you might not have as much work as they were hoping for. And if there's a gap in your resume, they might be wondering why and be asking questions about that. My second tip is to use keywords that are relevant to the jobs you're applying for. So you want to make yourself stand out to your employer as much as possible. So if you're applying for a hairdressing job, for example, you want to include a lot of stuff about hairdressing in your resume. Because if all of your resume is about a job that's not even related to hairdressing, it won't be very relevant to your employer and they probably won't be interested in hiring you. And my third and final tip is to proofread your resume carefully before uploading it. Now, a lot of people will make their resumes or CVs very fast and they will not proofread it at the end. They will just assume they've done everything right. You want to check through this two or three times to make sure there's not a single spelling mistake or any sort of punctuation mistake in your resume. If you've got a ton of mistakes in your resume, that will show your employer that you haven't really taken much time with it and you don't really care that much. The more time you put into your resume, the more likely you are to get a job. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to upload your resume on Indeed. If you did manage to upload your resume on Indeed, please comment down below to say this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.